Hello to all gamers. Sorry, I was eating a sausage. You know what? It, eating the sausage, by the way, it got me thinking. There's nothing like more unnerving in like a monster movie than when like a little, maybe like a kid is running away from the monster and they go, ha, 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 and then they, they get into a safe room and they close the door behind them, but then they realize they're not in a safe room. It's actually the kitchen. And then there's like a big monster with like a chef's hat and an apron. And he's going like, hur, hur, hur. and he's taking like big, like wet meat and then putting it into like a grinder and going like, hur, 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 hur. and the kids hiding like under the, the pot rack and stuff like that. And then you, when you're watching it and he's grinding that in the, he's grinding human meat in the sausage. You're like, you foul beast. What incalculable horror is this? Not only are they eating us, they're not even eating us for sustenance. They're eating us for, for pleasure. You know, they have recipes. They, they sit down and have like a, a dinner party where they go, oh, that's delectable. What kind of seasonings did you use on that human meat? This is the, the horrors of the human mind, are, you know, are, are beyond even my comprehension. Look at this, look at this malevolent society. Then me, when I eat a sausage, Yum, sausage. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm, yum, yum. What a nice, that was a nice little sausage. Mm, yum, 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 yum. I love to have that in a bun with a little bit of mustard on top of it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm just saying we're hypocrites. I guess that's all I'm trying to say is that we're hypocrites. Well, if you eat meat and you, or alternatively, you could eat meat and then um, not get uh, scared by that stuff in Little Nightmares. You could be like, Pog, you know what, fair enough, I eat meat, they're turning me into meat, what did I expect? That's the golden rule. Dude, I can't go to Twitter because the Twitter algorithm knows exactly what I want. It keeps serving up that, that mouth thirst trap over and over. It was so good. Every time I go to Twitter home and it's reset me from like latest tweets to stuff you might be interested in, it's just I see I see shirtless mouth like staring me in the face. No, I did not see uh, Ludwig's balls, but I did see that he posted the text message chain that led to his balls being posted, which was, "Hey man, your balls are in the new episode of our show. Would you like us to censor them?" And he said, "Yeah, lol," and the and the other guy thought that that meant go ahead, no problem. That would annoy me. I would be annoyed by that. I would at least be like, you know, if it was even like 5% ambiguous, any chance you could like, you know, ask me for clarification, for example. He said it was fine on the episode. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Who cares if someone sees you? I'll be honest, who cares if someone sees your balls? I probably, I don't know if I have the most embarrassing balls on the planet, but like I had a, uh, I had a Hydra seal. So one of my balls was like the size of a grape. The other one was like the size of a, a lemon. Even now, like one of them is, they're, they're asymmetrical. I, listen, I am genuinely pleading ignorance on this. I don't know if I, if you could, if there's people out there where you could show them a photo of balls and they would be like, wow, those are some nice looking balls. You could probably have some balls that are like, you know, wow, those balls are fucked up. But even if you got like fucked up balls, who cares? That's not a big deal. Like I would definitely rather someone see just a contextless picture of my balls than like see my my torso. I know I say this all the time. The little space, like the, the square that surrounds my belly button, you know, where like male fat tends to be deposited the most. I would much rather show my balls then like a, a two inch by two inch square with my belly button at the exact center. Without a doubt. And yet society tells you otherwise. What about showing them with salsa on them? You talking about Skrillex? You still late night toasting? You know it, brother. I definitely, I get jealous when I see like a guy wearing a crop top. I'm like, holy cow, look, he's rocking it. Look at those obliques. He's doing bicycle twists, no doubt about it. My man's got confidence. Look, he's dressing like Jesse from Team Rocket. <clears throat> I've been uh, assassinated by my wife again. No knock. Walked in. Begged for context on the bit. I drank a bit of my water. She looked at me with a Dan's game face. 
I gotta unscrew the top, but then I'll spill water all over myself, and then I'll have a wet shirt for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Why would you? Are you a toddler? Why would you spill water on yourself? Well, because I'm trying to drink it too fast. We try to not drink too fast. Well, that I have this, I have copious hydration needs. <laughs> Love you. There was no reply on that one. That hurts. Okay, she said she just waited a sec. She just wanted me to point out that she hadn't said it, and then she said it. <laughs> wiki wiki wild wild arena gym arena desperado doesn't work at all anyway welcome we're playing wiki arena you may or may not remember this wiki arena is a game that had a demo we played maybe six months ago uh maybe longer than six months ago actually either way it's out in its actual full steam release it's like two dollars and 80 cents canadian your goal is you're presented with two Wikipedia articles randomly selected. You choose which one either is longer or which one has more views in the past 90 days. Okay, so this seems like a, a an English footballer who played for three noteworthy teams and was a noteworthy player himself. And then on the other hand, you have the Penobscot River, a 109 mile long river in the US state of Maine. So, my personal opinion is that I don't know which article is longer, but I would say that sports probably has more views. Wrong. Not Literally not even close. You know what I realize is, like, I've got to remember, there's a lot of people out there like me. Like, I don't look up that many noteworthy figures on Wikipedia. What I do do is, like, I... Wikipedia, whatever food I'm eating. I'm like, oh, I wonder what the history of sausage is. I wonder what country made the first sausage. And then before you know it, you're out here looking at like, you know, the Nasta Gulch is the, the third largest gulch in the Duchy of uh, Bohemia. And you're like, how the hell did I end up here? Okay, that's not a good start for me. Amit Dada. Um, don't do that if you're uh, putting the, the amit, um, amit Dada. No, thank you. I'd rather have all of the... Uh, amit... Um, I'd rather have a, a, sorry, is a guitarist and producer from Kolkata. He's also a popular music composer. Now, is he a popular music composer or does he compose pop music? Well, he's widely acknowledged to be one of the most innovative guitarists around and toured extensively, ex extensively with the rock band Shiva or Children's Laureate a position initially awarded in the UK once every two years to a writer or illustrator of children's books to celebrate outstanding achievement in their field. Hey, why was the Scarecrow nominated for an award? Because it was outstanding in its field. <clears throat> His first production credit was for Nas's popular song, Life's a B-Word. Oh, you mean realizing the realism of life in actuality? Frick, who's the baddest? A person's status depends on salary. My mentality is money orientated. I'm destined to live the dream for all my peeps who never made it. Is that, is that the song you're talking about? The Last Patriot is a thriller written by American novelist Brad Thor. It tells the story of counterterrorism agent Scott Har Scott with one T Harvath's attempts to uncover a revelation. Okay, let's move on from that one. It's hard to believe that I, that. Many people are finding themselves looking up the results of the Montenegro men's national water polo team. But I will say, I don't know if the water polo team... I don't know the Montenegro's standing when it comes to water polo. I don't know if they're a great team. I don't know if they're a terrible team. I don't know if it's popular. I don't know if it's a niche sport. So I, I don't know, honestly. They love water polo. They're amongst the best in the world. They're like top five. In that case, I'm going A. Honestly, I'm, I'm using chat as a guide and I'm going A. Well, well, well. You suck a kuma devu. I'm so sorry. I just, I, you suck, you suck kuma devu. Or I suck a kuma devu. <laughs> I can't say it. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying. This is a genuine... I'm genuinely trying, okay? Ninja Zombie, thank you. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. 
is a creature from Zulu mythology. She's a bearded, bloated monster who eats every living thing she comes across. They have a monster based on your mom? Said to have a husband of the same name? That's gotta be confusing. Or Roger Williams University, a private university in Bristol, Rhode Island, named for theologian and Rhode Island co-founder Roger Williams. Bro, there's no way. I, ha I have to believe that Roger Williams University has a longer article. Like, look, we did it! What, what else are you gonna say about this monster that you didn't say in the first paragraph? Like, they told the whole story in, in the first 50 words. Whereas Roger Williams University, I'm sure it's like founding and then some old dude did something and they placed a single stone in the ground. That stone is now where the student union building is, you know, like. Three confirmed deaths. So true. Controversies. Notable alumni. One newscaster in Alabama. You get the idea. OK, look at that. We made it. I think we made good use of our of our skips. I am betting military history longer. Two pretty close ones, to be honest. Bat! Bat! By the way, John Lennon said the Beatles are more popular than Jesus Christ. Well, Mr. Lennon, take a look at this. 2022, Japanese military history, more popular than the Beatles, which are more popular than Jesus Christ. It goes, Jesus Christ... The Beatles, Ashigaru, light of foot infantry employed during the Ashikaga Shogunate of the Muromachi period. Oziptala is a genus of crab spiders that was first described in 1864, or Emmett Mullins is an Irish national hunt trainer and former jockey based in County Carlo. How is it, what, what is a, a hunt trainer? Also, you don't see too many ambiguous birthdays from people that are younger than me. Like, that's some stuff, when you look up a Wikipedia article about someone born in, like, the 1200s, and they're basically, like, 1260 question mark? Like, he was born sometime in this period, we think. I'm like, that's fair. But, like, we got, it feels like it should be a little bit easier to figure out their birthdays these days, but whatever. Maybe he's a private guy. Maybe he was born on, it was a leap year. I guess anything's possible. Or born at 11.59 on, on New Year's Eve. Former jockey? Is he, is he too old to be a jockey at, at age 32? I thought that was a sport where you could actually like get better as you got older. Because you've got to be smaller and men tend to shrink past a certain age. I feel like we should be seeing like a, a bunch of like 70 year old men riding horses. Not in races. Well, like, what do you need to do? It messes up your back and knees? Really? Isn't it? I, I feel... Maybe I'm being disrespectful, but doesn't the horse do all the work? Like, what do you have to do as the jockey? Like, it's not called jockey racing. The horse rocks you back and forth? Yeah, that's why you got, like, your feet in the stirrups and stuff, right? It doesn't seem that... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem that hard compared to, like, you know, if you put me one-on-one -on -one with, like, LeBron James... LeBron, honestly, I, I give him like 90% odds he beats me in that matchup. If you put me up against the best jockey in the world, I'd be like, well, what's the difference between our horses? If you gave me the best jockey in the world's horse, I think I could beat the best jockey in the world. They're basically wall sitting for the whole race. Yeah, but like, isn't the race like less than 30 seconds long? This isn't like the, this isn't a rodeo. It's not like professional bull riding. The horse is not doing 360s or whatever. And you got stuff to hold on to? I honestly think I would be okay. No, if I drove an F1 car, I would be... First off, I don't even know how to shift. So I would probably... Like, the car would explode before it even moved off the starting line. If I managed to make it, like, to the point where I was moving, I'm sure just touching the gas pedal would have me going at, like, 200 kilometers an hour. I would crash into the wall. I probably would not die because they're so engineered for safety. But, like, the car wouldn't stand a chance. There's a very realistic chance I would get an injury, I assume, but... Try standing on the armrest on your chairs and going 40 kilometers an hour down a gravel road. 
What do I have something to hold on to? And can I strap? Can I clip my feet into the armrests? That doesn't. I mean, I'm already like you. Look at the peloton back here. I'm going like 30 kilometers an hour with my feet clipped in, holding onto the handlebars out of the saddle. And I'm the one doing the damn work. I'm the one pushing the damn pedals and generating the watts. You're not moving? No, Einstein. I'm moving a lot. The bike is stationary. My ass is mobile. Plus two, plus two. Anyway, I don't have an answer. I've just been stalling. I honestly, for me, this is a skip. I got no idea. I'm skipping. November 9 is the final nine contestants at the final table of the main event of the World Series of Poker from 2008 to 2016, or Sally Ridge, a New Zealand socialite, currently working as a real estate agent in Auckland City. Really? You, you can be a real estate agent with a um, and have a Wikipedia article? Yeah, th that's a good point. They still make socialites? I thought that ended in like the 1920s. Like a socialite is just rich person minus job, right? What about Paris Hilton? I don't think Paris Hilton is like a socialite. She had like a, she had a job. She had a couple jobs. I know that sounds like I'm making a double entendre about how she became famous, but I'm not really. Like she was on TV. She's an actress. She's in House of Wax. The Kardashians, they're actresses. I thought a socialite was like, What's your job? Oh, my job is being the granddaughter of somebody who like owned a steel mill. So now mostly I just like own a big house and invite people over with catering. Like I thought, I thought that's what a socialite is. What about Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton is not, she's an actress. She was in House of Wax. She's still getting royalty checks. Every time someone watches it on Tubi. I know, just because you're, if your grandfather owns a hotel company, that doesn't make you a socialite by default. I thought a socialite was like the base case, where when you wash out of other industries, you're like, okay, now my job is a full-time socialite. I don't think you can be a socialite in something else, because if you have a job, you're no longer a socialite. You're, you're, a, you're actually contributing to society in some way. Yeah, plus she, she made perfume, and she sang that song that is not good, but goes harder than you would expect a Paris Hilton song to go. Maybe if the gods are crazy, maybe if the stars are blind, if you show me real love, baby, I'll show you mine. I think it's possible that with eight years of poker history, about nine people per year, that article could be longer. There you go. Dude, I'm glad I didn't go more views, less views. That's a, that's a freaking toss up. Chuck Washington is an American politician from California. Has there ever been a more American name than this? Of course he's in politics. His name is Chuck Washington. He serves on the Riverside County Board of Supervisors. With all due respect, I'm sorry. I thought you were a senator. I'm sure you're living like um, uh, uh, you're living a, a, a powerful life in Riverside County, California. But I thought you were like uh, I thought you were like a big shot. The board of supervisors in Riverside County. What do you control? Like um, how many cases of Pepsi they're going to order for the county fair or the Zahia affair? A series of legal proceedings that took place in France in 2010 involving several players of the French football team and Zahia Dahar, a former prostitute who... There's no way that has less views than Chuck Washington, the Board of Supervisors comptroller from Riverside County, California. 305 people are are looking up Chuck Washington? That seems crazy to me. It's just him, it's his homepage every day. Hootenanny, the replacements album, or the governor of Tetuan between 1515 and 1542. Well, the replacements is a great band. The best album is not Hootenanny though, it's Let It Be. Either way, I gotta go with music here. We're going A. Um, NL, actually, Saida Alhura is extremely popular in Tetuan. He's considered one of the greatest uh, treasurers we've ever had. Nobody knows who the replacements are. Lee Bitna is a South Korean actress. Or uh, Austin Davis Warren. Dude, is an pro American professional baseball pitcher for who? For who? 
Because that the, the, the team name is way more important. If it's like he plays for the Yankees, I'm going D. If it's like he plays for the Myrtle Beach, you know, mud crocodiles, then I'm like, I'm going A. I don't know, man. As popular as Korean media and culture are right now, I it has a worldwide popularity. A lot of that popularity is in Korea. A lot of it is in... A lot, a lot of it is worldwide. I'm not trying to, you know, draw delineations between us. I feel like based on what I see on Twitter, a lot of it is in South America. They're not going to be on English Wikipedia. Like, it's, it's going to be spread out across multiple languages rather than consolidated in English. Whereas all baseball popularity is going to be, like, in English or, like, well, Korean, Japanese, or Spanish, or Portuguese, or okay, but like I'm, I think it's, I think it's gonna be, I'm going to bet that the baseball biography is longer at the very least. I'm very glad I did not bet on popularity. Somebody tell me what E. Bitna's um, most noteworthy work is. Was she in Extraordinary Attorney Wu? I was laughing, there's, um, I, I forget, um, I think, it, it, listen, it's a very old investment guy I follow on Twitter. I've heard him on a couple of podcasts. He's always talking about interest rates and bonds and stuff like that. I saw him, t he tweets like once every eight months. I, I saw him tweet a couple months ago. Just saw two episodes of Extraordinary uh, Attorney Wu on Netflix. I, in my opinion, it's a must-watch show. I was laughing my ass off, dude. It's not that the show is necessarily bad. I was just picturing this old, like, finance pill dude watching the show and being like, this shit is amazing. I got to tweet about this, like, ASAP. All of my followers who follow me to figure out how to do, like, a barbell structure in bonds need to know <laughs> that this show is amazing. United States District Court for the Western District of Arkansas, all right, or Bryn Mawr Hospital, a 264-bed acute care hospital located in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. It's been named amongst the, the finest hospitals in the Philadelphia region. Congratulations to the Bryn Mawr Hospital. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of like X on this one. I just don't... I. I would assume that the hospital article is more popular because more people live in Pennsylvania than Western Arkansas. And then like a hospital is a building more people are familiar with versus the district court for the Western District of Arkansas. No, I talked myself into going with the hospital. Ah! I would have gone longer on the hospital article too, honestly. I can't believe we only got eight on that one. Who's looking this kind of... I'm a Wikipedia freak. And who's looking this kind of shit up? Are you like going to the court and you're like, oh, better learn about its history real quick. Judge, this court was founded on the principles of... 1906. I would not come in here and besmirch your honor and decorum. It's just like, I, I don't know what you're... I don't know who's wikipedia in this. It just seems crazy. Jacques Fabien Gautier d'Agoti, a French anatomist, painter, and printmaker. I miss the days where you could be like a Renaissance man. Nowadays, you got to do like 20 years of school and you're like, I'm a neo geographer. That's it. I don't even bake bread. I don't have time for that. Back in the day, if you were like a smart guy, you could be like an artist, an engineer, an inventor, a doctor. You could do it all. And you died when you were like 47. Nightmare. The 2000 Korean film, Gawi, Scissors, also known as Horror Game Movie, released in the Philippines as Gawi the Nightmare. W excuse me? Nightmare, Korean, Gawi, RR, Gawi, Lit, Scissors, also known as Horror Game Movie, released in Philippines as Gawi colon the Nightmare. Is this a, is a Magic the Gathering card, or is this a, a Sufjan Stevens uh, song title? That would have been better. Speaking outrageously, I'm watching Gowie transliteral scissors horror game film. Sorry. Chris Culliver is a former American cornerback 
He was drafted in the third round. Kristen LeBaron Culliver II. Great name. And he's not washed. He could make it in the league. I say that because he's got the same birth year as me. So he's like, honestly, he's probably just entering his prime right now. He's 34. He's on. He's getting his second wind. He's retired by choice because he was so good that he had the option to retire early to preserve his cranial health for sure. But he could be, he, he would be like in his prime if he was still playing, but he doesn't have to play. I'm not necessarily betting against a Korean movie on popularity i'm more betting that a 34 year old former nfler has a longer article because in the movie articles they don't want to put spoilers the one chip the one chip msx or one chip msx as the d4 enterprise distributional name for the ese msx system 3 is a re-implementation of an msx2 home computer that uses a single fpga this is some shit about a golf computer or solitaire but not the board game or the the card game the bird the solitaires are medium-sized insectivorous birds in the genera myadestes Kiklopsis and Entomodestes of the thrush family Turdidae. <laughs> Turdidae. This bird got screwed, man. They named it after a card game and said, we don't know where to put it. Just put it in the Turdidae. I think Solitaire Bird gets more views by accident. All right, I got one point. That was not good. The murder of Yoon Gumi. A murder case at a camp town in Dongducheon, Gyeonggi, South Korea. Okay, so a horrible murder case. Or a small circular biscuit that originated in Egypt and is eaten across the Arab world to celebrate Eid al-Fitr and Easter. Hmm. I'm going to say... Say what? Oh, yeah, it is cock. It is, it is said cock. <laughs> I feel like I want to say that uh, cock is longer because the font is smaller. But I think that's my brain playing tricks on me. I also feel like articles about food, sometimes they're like a paragraph and sometimes it's actually like the length of a novel. It's like the history. Originally, cock was in... Uh, a cock precursor was found in the... Historical record as a uh, Egyptians that were building the pyramids beat yeast and rye flour using pond fronds and you know you get the idea But I feel like crime articles are gonna be very popular People go crazy over true crime. I'm taking a lark. I'm saying it's a What can I say plain old documentation ain't what it used to be it's a lightweight markup language used to document the Perl programming language as well as Perl modules and programs. Or Franklin and Bash, an American comedy drama television series created by Kevin Falls and Bill Chase. The series starred Brecken Meyer and Mark Paul Gosseler. Okay, nobody's heard of Franklin and Bash. Pearl and Bash in the same question? Holy cow! Don't make me choose! Jarn Sharstroop be praised! The Bologna Central Railway Station. I I can't I there's too many jokes in my head right now. The Bologna Central Railway Station. Oh mean you mean your mom's bed? <laughs> Sorry, this it's not even funny. But it is kind of funny actually now that I think about it. List of countries by Avocado Production or David Webster Footballer. Currently plays for the League of Ireland Premier Division Club Finn Harps. Is that like the George Glass of Ireland? Like if you made up that you had a boyfriend, you would look around your house and be like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, his name is Finn. Finn Harp Glass. Anyway, sorry. Peter Griffin, so true. He previously played for Waterford for a season. Spent three seasons at the Shamrock Road. Listen, Ireland, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to maintain some decorum. He's an Irish footballer. Look at his clubs. 
He played for Finn Harps, Waterford, Shamrock Rovers, and St. Patrick's Athletic. Like, it's like if a, it was like a, Dave Hoser was a Canadian hockey player. He played for uh, the Maple Leafs. He played for Tim Hortons, Tim Bits. He played for, like, it's just too much. He played for the Nanaimo Bars on Vancouver Island. And he was the number one center of the Qualicums. Played for the Quebec City Poutines. For real. I'm going list of countries. There's got to be a lot of countries. I bet a hundred countries make, produce avocados. And I bet they eat, they have a few words on each of them. Give me Q. Wow. Wow. Believers are in trouble. Unconditionally is a song by Katy Perry or Psychedelic Experience, a temporary altered state of consciousness. Anybody out there dropping acid and then Googling Psychedelic Experience and clicking the second link? The first one steals your banking password? Inspiration from the song came primarily from a humanitarian trip to Madagascar. There is no doubt that this is the worst song I've never heard, right? With no disrespect to Katy Perry. You're like, anytime a pop star has a song that's like, for the first time ever, I saw people living in poverty and that inspired me to write a song. That shit is always like a complete disaster. 100% song, 100% that song sucks ass. Well, I, I haven't heard it, but I agree. Man in the Mirror is pretty good. That's true. I feel like U2 has some too, but what about African Child? I don't necessarily want to quote anything that Russell Brand was in. But um, when they start going through the reviews of, of African Child, and one of them is like, African Child is the worst thing that happened to the continent since apartheid. <laughs> it's like, it's, it is a vicious review. Which is weird, because wasn't Russell Brand married to Katy Perry? And then this seems like Katy Perry wrote like an African Child song herself three years after Get Him to the Greek Lampooned when that happens? That's a very strange bit of synchronicity. But anyway, I honestly think Psychedelic Experience has more views and is longer. I'm going longer first though, because I don't want to have to bet against Katy Perry. Wow, I was wrong. No, I was right, it had more views. Top YouTube comment for that song. This quarantine got me listening to older music and re older songs, and I realize they're way better than today's music. So true, so true. Me listening to songs from 2013, this shit, this oldie is way better than the shit they're coming out with these days. It's the same shit, dummy. Facts. I was born in the wrong generation. I wish I was born in 1998 so I could have been the perfect age to listen to Katy Perry's unconditionally on the school bus. It's way better than the shit they're coming out with these days. What do you, 2013 is these days, man. A French true crime writer who presented himself as an expert on serial killers for many years until he admitted in 2020 that he had lied about many of his claimed experiences. Okay. So a French uh, false crime writer or Pam Bujan, a fourth class municipality. Well, that's a little insulting. In the province of Northern Samar in the Philippines, it has a population of 35,000 people. I'm going longer on geography trillion software that's what trillion was a proprietary multi multi-protocol instant messaging application so you didn't have to have icq msn aim bonjour facebook messenger etc etc all installed or list of knights cross of the iron cross recipients german the ritterkreuz das eisnern Cruces. And its variants were the highest awards in the military of the Third Reich during World War II. So, a list of bad dudes, okay? Cool, cool software or a list of bad dudes? <laughs> um, FBI? Yeah, this article right here. Oh, 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 you're slacking off? You're taking a 90-minute lunch? Hey, why don't you check out this article right here? There's some work for you to do. Listen, I find it... I gotta think. First time chatter, I'm the FBI. Sorry, I'm just hungry. Dude, having a lot of viewers is actually sick. Because, like, that happens once a week. You just make a joke out of nowhere and someone's like, well, it's my time to shine. I've, I've got the relevant username for this joke. 
It makes it so much easier. I don't have to do anything. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Listen, I think this is E and D, but I'm more confident in E. Giving out a lot of Ritter Cruz das, Ritter Cruz des Einern Cruces back in the day, huh? 240 bytes, 240,000 bytes. God help me. I've got to have a very famous uncle to feel okay with the first sentence of my Wikipedia article defining me as someone's nephew. Or a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Anytime you get like a like a proper noun that isn't a person, I guess every single one of these is a proper noun now that I think about it. But either way, anytime there's like a, an object that everybody's familiar with, I'm going, what? Ayub Khan, apparently. If he's that famous, why is it like so noteworthy that he's a nephew of somebody? It sounds like his uncle's popular. Who's looking up sleeping bags? I don't know, I would. If I would be like camping and be in a sleeping bag and I'd be like, I wonder who invented this thing. They gotta be like mega rich now. Personal life, ba 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 controversies, ba 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 Fuck that, I'm sleeping on the ground. I'm not separating the art from the artist. Bro, Tyler Perry's I Can Do Bad All By Myself is a 1999 play directed by, written by, and starring Tyler Perry. The play marks the first known official appearance of the well-known fictional character Medea. This is basically like the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe of the Medea mythos. Um, hello? Is it me you're looking for? Or Christopher Maloney, but not the, not the big time Christopher Maloney? I mean, there's no doubt. I'm going, she can do bad all by her damn self. Let me go, uh, let me go A on this one. That's a gimme, man. Medea is kind of a girl boss, except she does hit some kids in, like, every Medea movie I've ever seen. Hold on, I'm gonna blow my nose. I would not say that's what being a girl boss is all about. Now, to be fair, the kids were acting up. They were giving Medea some lip, or sometimes, alternatively, kids will be giving their parents some lip, and Medea will say something like, You're lucky you're not my kids. If you're my kids, I'd have your ears ringing from east to west right now. She'd say something like that. She's She gets a lot of... She's got a real off-the-cuff sort of improv demeanor to her. Emphasis on the mean. In the United States Navy prior to three years ago, sailors in pay grades E4 to E9 were authorized to wear golden rate insignia instead of red if they met the requirements for good conduct service. Congratulations, you've been, you, you've been America's good boy. Let me tussle your hair a little bit. Put on your gold medals instead of your silver, your red medals. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You can wear some gold jewelry today. Killing Home A power station. It was a combined cycle gas turbine natural gas. <laughs> a, a building fire by a building fire, a building fire. Or list of biographical dictionaries. What the hell does that even mean? Does a life lived in alphabetical order? I don't even understand. How could a dictionary be biographical? Unless you lived your whole life from A to Z. I'm passing this. I'm, I'm skipping. This is just a, two scary ones back to back. <clears throat> or the 1996 Formula Nippon Championship. The first season under the name Formula Nippon. Before 1996, the category was named Japanese Formula 3000. <laughs> Would you rather watch Formula 1 or Formula 3000, man? I gotta know why they chose that number. Please tell me it's just because it sounded like a like a cool number. Or does that mean like the engine can be 3,000 cc's or something? 3,000 laps. <laughs> Shit is like Le Mans 24 days. All right. I'm, I, I got to go longer on the sports season for sure. Jean-Baptiste Poussin was a hospital superintendent, along with his wife and colleague Marguerite, established more humane treatment of patients with mental disorders in 19th century France. Good, good. Based, based Jean-Baptiste Poussin. 
He's like, instead of making them shit their pants, we allowed them to piss the bed instead. He won the Humanitarian of the Year Award 50 consecutive years in the 18th century. Progressive, progressive enough to be hated in his own time for being too liberal and yet hated in the modern era for not being liberal enough. You mean puss in the bed? I don't know. He might have done some good stuff for all I know. He might have treated human beings like human beings. I'm just making stuff up. Yo, CKWSDT, a television station in Kingston, Ontario? That's where you watch the 6 o'clock news in my hometown. Is someone spying on me right now? That's literally, I watch the local news on that channel like every night from age 6 to when I moved out. Bill Patterson and Joanne McLeod. Sportscaster Mike Postovich. This is crazy, man. It is indeed maintained studios on Queen Street in downtown Kingston, right next to the strip club. John Campbell, the fourth Duke of Argyll a British army officer and a Scottish Whig politician who sat in the House of Commons for fucking 48 years get a life? I, listen, I, the fact that this brought up my local news station is crazy. I still gotta go biography of a 18th century politician. Wow, I, I, it do be your own sometimes. Bella Ferraro is an Australian singer most notable for finishing fourth on the fourth season of The X Factor Australia in 2012. Okay, so she's like 90% chance she's not that popular. 10% chance she became the most successful uh, contestant on that show after the show was over. Or the Grandview Training School for Girls. The Grandview Training School for Girls, known as the Ontario Training School for Girls Galt prior to 1967, was established in 1933 in Galt, Ontario. I lived in Ontario for like 21 years. I've never heard of Galt in my entire life. Just to give you some context of, of how noteworthy this is. Training for what? Well, like you're not going to like the answer, but the answer is like training to be like a, a housewife. Even, so, like, my, my mom was born in, like, 1966, maybe. Um, her oldest sister would have been born in, like, 1958. And her older sister was in, you know, there's, like, girl guides, brownies and stuff like that. Her older sister was in, like, an after-school after girls group that was called, like, Good Women in Training or something like that where they would go and learn how to like cook and clean and sew and so I don't know what else, but you know, this is established in 1933. So this is even like 30 years before that. I gotta go with A on this one. And I think it's a gimme, unless something horrible happened at the school. List of unproduced film projects based on Marvel comics or let's learn Japanese. It's bad, ch bad chest versus bad chest Japan. Hold on, we can make this joke. Bad chest, resident sleeper, bad chest, comma, Japan, bad chest. That's the joke. The joke did not make itself. I did a lot of work. Let's Learn Japanese is a video-based Japanese language study course for English speakers produced by the Japan Foundation. The two seasons were originally aired on television at a rate of one episode per day. No big deal. That should only take you, I don't know, about a hundred years to become uh, a native speaker level. Hey, maybe you don't have to become fluent to learn a language. Maybe you could just be interested in it or like, you know, just enjoy it, okay? I'm just <laughs> a rate of one episode per day. <laughs> Just for recreation, you can do things for recreation. But I gotta go longer and more views on on unproduced films based on Marvel comics. I'm still waiting for the Marvel Snap movie. Or the HMS Hood, a modified Royal Sovereign class pre-dreadnought battleship built for the Royal Navy in the early 1890s. She differed, she wasn't like other girls, Captain. She differed from the other ships of the class in that she had cylindrical gun turrets instead of barbettes and a lower freeboard. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I do love that it says she, oh man. I don't think anybody's looking up Craig Conroy, really. I'm going longer on the boat, honestly. Fuck. Happy Birthday Sweet 16 is a pop song released in 1961 by Neil Sedaka. That shit has got to be mighty inappropriate 
circa 2022. Let me just go take a look here. Happy birthday, sweet 16 lyrics, Neil Sadaka. Tonight's the night you've waited for because you're not a baby anymore. You've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet 16. What happened to that funny face? My little tomboy now wears satins and lace. I can't believe my eyes. You're just a teenage dream. Happy birthday, sweet 16. When you were only six, I was your big brother. Then you were 10, we didn't like each other. When you were 13, you were my funny Valentine. But you, since you've grown up, your future is sewn up. From now on, you're gonna be mine. So, if I should smile with sweet surprise, it's just that you've grown up before my very eyes. You've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet 16. Substantially worse than even my lowest possible expectations could have been. It, it sounds like, uh, end quote, your honor is the only way you could end that. Or Air Train JFK, an 8.1 mile long elevated people mover system and airport rail link serving John F. Kennedy International Airport. The driverless system, it's a conveyor belt! No, wait, a people mover, it's not a conveyor belt, it's a train. Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think anyone's looking up Happy Birthday Sweet 16 except for like the reception section of it. I gotta go longer on air train. A 1996 Sri Lankan Sinhala medical mystery romantic comedy film. <laughs> That's my favorite genre. A medical mystery romantic comedy. They don't make them like that anymore. Alexander Mikhailovich Rimsky Korsakov. What the hell? He's a composer? He's a Russian general remembered as an unlucky assistant to Alexander Suvorov during his Swiss expedition of 1799 to 1800. How many Rimsky-Korsakovs are out there? Oh, sorry, that's a different Rimsky-Korsakov. No relation. This motherfucker. Does it piss you off when you see that somebody born in the 7th, a man born in the 1700s, lived to be 87 years old? That shit pisses me off. Fuck you. <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> Why? I might not make it to 87 and I got like so many advantages versus this dude. This asshole. I'm jealous, I'm jealous. Skill issue. Yeah, but you have microplastics in your blood? This dude probably, for like 20 years, this dude probably ate dirt and he lived to be 87 years old. He didn't even have like electricity. This is back in the era people would like, for dinner, they would like boil a cauldron of water and then throw in like one cabbage and split it with a family of 12. Like what the, what business do you have making it to 87 years old? Fuck you. I'm mostly joking. I don't know, he might be a hero for all I know. Regardless, I don't know. Nobody's looking up the Brit Awards 2013 in 2022. But that article could be long as hell. But do I really wanna bet against bio? I'm not betting against bio. The dude was 87. Give me longer on, the, on Rimsky Korsakov. Why? I'm doing one more. I have to I have to give it a better attempt. Flying Tiger Line Flight 739 was a Lockheed L. I should have called it a Lockheed W. Honestly, you're just asking for trouble. Super Constellation prop liner charted by the US military that disappeared over the Western Pacific Ocean. I feel like I don't know if anybody else goes on Wikipedia for morbid curiosity. If I find myself looking at one plane crash on Wikipedia, I'm gonna look at like 30. And what's crazy, you always expect it to be like so dramatic, like the plane exploded mid-flight. But usually it's like, the de I the plane was architected in such a way that the de-icing liquid couldn't get into the piton tubes properly, and then over the Atlantic Ocean, they gradually got filled with ice crystals, causing the depressurization event in the cabin to happen when nobody noticed, everyone passed out at the same time. And you're like, okay, well, I hope you uh, never, I hope you didn't enjoy flying, because that shit's gonna be in your head forever. Close one, though. Walbert, Walter Robert John Swinburne was a flat racing jockey and trainer who competed in Great Britain and internationally. Walter John. 
Just I look at chat, it gives me every time there's a Walter, man. It's like doing the wave at a sporting event. It's like, it's nice when the audience knows just what to do, right? It makes the job easier. Chloe Harris is a fictional character from Emmerdale. Okay. She was introduced as the sister of Gemma Harris, a dead teenager whose heart was given to Sarah Sugden. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <clears throat> sorry, sorry. <laughs> So she walk into like the Emmerdale cafe and say, just so you know, I'm the sister of the girl whose heart you got. My name's Chloe Harris. Nice to meet you, Sarah Sogdum. Listen, I gotta go one more. That's embarrassing. I gotta try. I, got, I gotta add one more win to the win counter. Hi, my name's Nemo. Okay, don't think, just play. The Sunkara Balapara Mezwara Rao was an Indian, it's a guy. He was an Indian neurosurgeon or Musical Theater International, a theatrical licensing agency based in New York City. I am betting on uh, biography length. Hilalian dialects, a continuum of Arabic dialects of the Maghreb, which were introduced during the Hilalian invasions, or the MS Trobri, a transatlantic passenger line built for the Gdynian America Lini Zeglugo SA. Give me linguistic longer. Uh, Solo Vare is a brand of British made boots or Hubie Brooks, an American former professional baseball right fielder, third base. He played 15 years in the MLB. I'm going more views on baseball. Okay, we gotta run one more. That went fast. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Chaparral High School in Arizona. Its mascot is the Firebird, and the school colors are black, red, and gold. Well, how interesting. Very creative. Now let's see Paul Allen's high school colors. The Pike National Forest is located in the front range of Colorado, United States, west of Colorado Springs. The forest encompasses 1.1 million acres. Let me, I'm going D on this one without a doubt. What? Neil Walk was an American college and professional basketball player who played in the NBA for eight seasons. Should have called him Neil Jump. I'm giving, uh, this is an E and a D in my opinion. But I'm going to say that it's, <laughs> I, took the, I took the Neil Walk to Poland. I think there's a lot to write about with a contemporary author, journalist, socialist. I think it's an E. I don't know, man. Or Robert Lentz, an American Franciscan friar. There's a, a living Franciscan friar. I thought this is something you could only be in like the 1400s. I don't even know what that means. It's like a monk, right? It's like a Christian monk. It's like one of those guys that wears a, a tunic with like a little rope to keep it on. And they read a lot of books. They putter around and they read a lot of books. He's currently stationed. He belongs to the Order of Friars Minor. So he's not even that good at it. And he's currently stationed in Holy Name Province. I don't know, man. Give me longer on the friar. That was a scary one, though. I'm going more views on Rube Waddell. All right, I'm ass. I'm pure ass. Either way. <laughs> this wiki arena, I got my ass kicked. Slash marker. Um, that's wiki arena. I'm going to go to the bathroom. We're going to come back and play some Cook Serve Delicious 3. I'm eating Subway today for NL. Thank you, um, for your sacrifice. I mean, a kind bar for me. Tastes good.
Kind bars taste like ass, but I crave them. What do you mean they taste like ass? They're pretty good. I'm sorry, I'm not reading that. But I laughed. I laughed. I'm not even going to say what comment it was. Everybody in chat can just think that it was their thing that I said. Ha 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 to. It was me, it was me. Okay. Let me just have some water first. Oh, that's, that was a good one. Mm. Had a certain rubber taste to that one. I have misophonia? Yeah, I know. I'm not saying who cares. I'm not doing it to make you feel bad. It's not about you. I'm doing it because I needed some water. I was getting thirsty. Drink what I want from the bottle I got because I got it. You can mute me if you don't want to hear when I slurp it. Wait to say I told you so. <clears throat> Sorry. Hello, Kate. Hello. Please rein in your husband. He's off the rails. I'm bringing the walk to Poland for real. I just felt like my brain is obviously working at uh, peak efficiency right now. Let's play something to saturate like every neuron. Yo, this song kind of goes hard, though. It should be sounding like the age of ads for real. okay you know what would go really nice over top of this who rocks the body rocks the body come on get down down then they turn the beat who rocks the body rocks the body come on get down something to boot out the body who does the body we rock the body rock the body come on get it <laughs> i was trying to think of what would be the worst possible message there This sounds like that guy that Apollo is always listening to. You know, every song is like, I went to the mall, but I didn't go to the mall because the mall's too small. And, it, and all his music videos look like a Windows 95 screensaver. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's Bill Wirtz. Yeah, Bill Wirtz. That's the guy. <clears throat> Jopche. I don't really like um, Jopche that much. The first time I I had dinner with Kate's mom, she made japchae for me. And out of politeness, I said, wow, this is really good. And somehow that became like, I became known as the guy who loves japchae. So every time I came over, they were always like, we got you japchae because we know you love it so much. 
After like four years, I finally had to like break at the cape that was like, I was like, I don't like Jopche that much actually. If they're, if they're really going out of their way to, to make the Jopche, they, uh, you can politely let them know that I'm not that Jopche pilled anymore. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Like it's, it's, it's not like I find it unpleasant to eat. It's just not, uh, it's not my favorite Korean food. Those, those cinnamon buns almost staled out. I'm embarrassed. Okay, let me just quick um S N D W C H. There you go. Cook them, cook them, cook them, cook them, cook them. Look at this service, man. Look at this service. We need chicken strip stat. Let me get chicken strips out there. We need a one, two, three, four. Sorry, it's just gonna be a minute. We're waiting for your chicken. We also need some cinnamon rolls. That's my mistake. We'll cook them real quick. Don't even sweat it. Your your points are safe here. I'm gonna serve you on number six, and then also I'm gonna get some more chicken strips going. There you go. We're just waiting on them. We're just waiting on them. We're just studying it. You know how dogs is and all that. Look at that service, man. Look at that service. And just one more chicken strips order. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. We, we miscalculated a little bit. Check that out. All done. Day complete. Perfect score. Is gold good? Is gold as high as it can go? Wow, a perfect run. A perfect run. I like the sound of that. This is a KGM. Okay, ever get ready, get ready. It's gonna be hot. This is a PD. Get ready for the beautiful dopamine when we press control. It's gonna feel so damn good, but we're gonna be in the weeds for quite a quite a while here. This is a KGM. Package them. P-U-L-T is a package me. Four is a P-U-L-T. Get ready. Six is a KGM. I'm prepared. I'm ready. Get ready. Here it comes. The Sopapillas all require SH on top of them. You're a GC, you're a two, you're a service, okay? You're a GC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're served. Give me more falafels, I need more falafels, too sweet. Let me get a four SH, let me get a service. Let me get a seven GC, let me get a five GC, let me get a one SH. Let me get a three GC, let me get a two SH. Let me get a service out here. We need some more Sopapilla stat. Let me get Sopapillas in the damn in the damn thing. Let me get a 4GC, 1GC. Serve all the falafels, 2GC. We need some more poutine? No, we don't. We need a 1GC, we need a 3 and a 6. We need more falafels, we need more falafels. Stat, get those falafels in there, please. Let me get a 2GC, let me get that. The poutine's gotta go, that's a GC. Sopapillas are almost done. Let me get the sopapillas out there. That's gonna be an SH. Let me get an SH, let me get an SH. Okay, falafels cooking, 6, let me get a GC. Okay, we're just waiting for the falafels, sirs and or madams. We're just waiting for the falafels, I promise. You're under control. Okay. Too many deep fryers. I'll take the gold medal, but for myself, I, I, I have some feedback. We need to use less deep fryer oh, stuff. Wow, Might want to have... What the heck? The police are here. Approaching final stop. Give me some corn on the freaking cob. We don't even need that much oatmeal. Give me some corn real quick. Next time, we got to work on our menu, man. What do you want? You want beans and folds. You want dough, flatten, beans, and fold. You want dough, flatten, beans, and fold. That's an easy order. Now you're a C-I-N-H-T-M. Serve them. You want dough, flatten, pork, and fold. Okay, easy enough. Serve them. Let me get a number six ready. It's a C-I-N-H-T-M. I think I screwed one up. I'd like to... Oh, well, they love it! Number seven, we need a special order. Dough, flatten, pork, and fold. Serve them. Number six, that's an RSU. That's easy enough. One, that's an I. Send it out there. That's an RSU. Three, that's an I. Four, that's an I and an L. Five, that's an RSU. Six, is an RSU. Serve them all. Okay, we're going to need some more oatmeal. We're going to need some more corn. No, we're going to need some more salad. Beautiful plate. Let me get an RSU. Let me get an RSU. Let me serve them. Let me get a IL. Let me let me get a seven. Let me get an IR. Let me get an RSU. Let me get an RSU. Let me put some more corn on the hopper real quick. Are you seeing this? No, the corn's being cooked. Can you relax, please? Sorry, I have to focus briefly. Okay, you love the corn. You love the corn. You love the corn so much. Go ahead and take the corn. What do we need? We're gonna need some corn. I don't know. Might as well make it in abundance. Serve them. We need some more salad! Three. I could have given up on that one. Serve them. Number six. Time. 
117 delicious combo. Silver medal! What happened? Some one person got like old I know corn. You're your best, but let's try a little harder. One person, one snob. A we could try a lot harder. Oh, you made one mistake on day one. I bet I served someone some slightly fucked up ceviche, which is a food you don't want to mess up if possible. That's that's food poisoning waiting to happen. You put almonds into someone's. Oh no, that that could be a real problem too. They're probably allergic. In the in the Uber Eats order, it said. Absolutely no almonds under any circumstance. Whoops. <laughs> There's no sweat. Look at this. Now I'm I'm much I'm feeling much better off today. Ah! Water, white rice, seasoning, lid, garlic, chili, onions, chicken. Enter. Okay, that's a that's that's not as bad as it looks as long as every single order wants everything. No, I wanted the veggie fried rice. Well, then you should have gone someplace else, quite frankly, because I don't have the necessary mental throughput to the I didn't put sugar on their beignets as a result of my banter. We need more beignets, by the way. Okay, these ones, I'm not going to mess them up, okay? My beignets. Hey, I used to love this place. I had 25 five-star interactions with this place. It was my favorite restaurant. Then they mildly screwed up my order one time, and that's why I'm giving them a one-star on Google reviews. How disrespectful of them. No, I'm not resetting for one imperfect. That's no big deal. I'm not sweating that. Okay, let me let me toss the beignets. Let me toss the chicken nuggets. I'm even gonna toss the donuts. I'll give you a fresh batch because I feel bad. Oh my god, they want 17 donuts? That's impossible. I'm sorry to tell you that's not possible. They want way too much. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Dude, but it's taking so long to cook. I can't handle the orders. Okay, there, I, I can handle the orders. Okay, I can handle the orders. What are we gonna need here, lads? Order We're gonna need some donuts. Get those going. We're gonna need some nuggets. Get those going. We're gonna need some egg rolls. Get those going. Thank you for your simple order. I very much appreciate that. And you know what? Why don't we just get some more beignets going while we wait? Let's get, let's get a fresh batch going. We're gonna need some more nuggets pretty soon after that, too. Let me get some chicken nuggets going. Serve them. Serve them. We got beignets ready to go. We need some more chicken nuggets, maybe? I can't tell. Dude, they're getting ecstatic with it. We need some donuts. Too sweet. Dude, I would wait for a fresh donut out of the fryer. Don't be a snob. That was, that was the greatest portion of this game I've ever done. One of the finest culinary minds I've ever known. Okay, it is kind of awkward though. Just me staring at you. Like when somebody on a, on a Zoom meeting asks you to like find an email for them and you're like, okay, just give me a second, but then it takes you longer than you think it would have taken you in the first place. So you're just like, I promise I'm still looking. And you're like, they're like, oh, why is this taking so long? And you're like, oh. Okay, I got it. Serve them. Serve them. We don't have any egg rolls. Get out of here, dude. We don't. We need to bring some space. We need some egg rolls. Donk them. Okay, they're safe. We don't have any beignets. What was I doing? Can we get some beignets out here? Oh my god, the egg rolls. We're gonna need. We're gonna need so many more. Okay, we're gonna obviously we're gonna need some. No, we don't really need. We need some more beignets. Those have got to go in. Too sweet. What the heck? I'm not giving you anything, man. I'm 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 wasting away. I'm wasting away here. We need more egg rolls. Okay, just for you. Just for you. Look, I was in the weeds, but I wasn't that in the weeds. This poor guy. Here's your two spring roll, two egg roll order. Coming right up. Served. That's not that bad. I'll take my silver. I feel like I, I screwed it up earlier. Okay. Well, let me guess, one blue? One red? What happened? I killed somebody? 
It's like a 99.7% efficiency rate. They gave me a silver medal. It hurts, man. That hurts. You left a knife in the box? I'm not a doctor. They could just take it out. Free knife. Okay, how do you meat, flatten, veggie mix, roll, and bread them? That looks delicious. Meat, flatten, potato mix, roll, and bread them. Two sets of taro leaves, seasoned meat, wrap, and cook. Ready to go. Oh, I boxed it up too early. Throw it in the trash. They're gonna, I gotta restart. They're gonna hate me. They're gonna get horrible food poisoning from eating uncooked pork. All right, chef. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, run me back, run me back. That's, that's my mistake, okay? I'm sorry. The pig's blood is insanely easy to make. It's made instantly, so get the chimichangas going. Too sweet, and we're ready to go. You're a KSU. I... You're an MF. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. Wrap them up. That's an LLMW. Wrap them up. Give me some more. I'm ready. Wrap them up. Wrap them up. There's a KSU. Don't even get me started. You don't want brown sugar on your bratwurst? I'm sorry. Don't come to my food truck. You're a KSU, okay? Get ready. Here we go. Oh, get ready. Look at this. What do you want? CQUS. Okay, send them. Give me some more pig's blood. Send them. Send them and give me some more pig's blood. Now we want a number one. You're going to be a CRUS. You're going to be a CRUS. Send them. Send them. You're going to be number four. You're going to be a CRUS. Number one. You're going to be CGUS. Send them. We're going to need some more pig's blood. Too sweet. Let me get a B, P, C on that one. Send them. Number three, you're going to be a CRUS. Number five, you're going to be a CQUS. Number two, you're going to be a CRUS. Number six, you're going to be a CRUS. Number two, send them. We're going to need some more chimichangas. Get them into the hopper ASAP. CGUS. Number one, let me get a C, CQUS. Send out the pig's blood. We need some more pig's blood. Number three, you're going to be a CGUS. Send them. We need some more chimichangas. Ah! <laughs> well, wow, you guys want to be served, huh? Okay, sure, there you go. Day complete. That's a silver medal. That one, one bad service on day one. I can't believe it. What's your heart rate? Hold on, let me, let me check. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm thinking low 60s right now. I'm not even sweating it. But now that I'm observing it, it's kind of, it's speeding up a little bit. Feels good, feels good. Yum yeah, level four, you're right, I can customize my truck now. I'm 90 just from watching. I got ice in my veins. Many people would say I'm like the Dmitry Medvedev of Cooks Are Delicious. I had to choose someone that wasn't the greatest of all time because if I name someone that was the greatest of all time, there's definitely people better at this game than me. So I couldn't say I'm the Nadal of um, Cooks Are Delicious. I mean, that would be too far. Okay, trinkets in my inventory. Honestly, I would love to put up um, my diploma from Chef University. Medvedev raises all the, rages all the time. That sounds like me. Let's get a picture that says Max Wieners. Pop that down right there. And how about a, my, my ideal restaurant? Is there... Oh, go right side with shift. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Let this be a lesson. NL, you wouldn't know what it's like to work in a restaurant. You wouldn't even understand. It's so hard. It's so stressful. You're in the weeds all the time, brother. Wow, a perfect run. I'm getting brain jacked in the Matrix right now, okay? You think I couldn't handle the rush at Billy's Italian Beef in Chicago? I guess that's true that when people tell you to do something, you do actually have to do a task rather than simply hit a key on your keyboard. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good... But mentally, I think I could handle it. You need an octopus real quick? Okay, just let, sure, let me just get an octopus and chop off his head real quick because you're hungry. Okay, sure. Makes a lot of sense. I get it. You're king of the castle, so. We need some more dongo, too sweet. Send them out there. Need some more briskets. Get the, no, we don't need any more briskets. We got tons of freaking briskets out there. We got a staggering amount of brisket. Everything's going fine here. 
Oh, that's a satisfying sound. Sounds like being in the men's locker room. Okay. Ready. What do we got? Not that much. We just need some soup. This is a vegetarian soup. Chat, clearly we don't go to the same gyms, okay? Stay pegged, everybody. They should team up with Subway to make a, a Subway DLC. But then it could be some, like, Ender's Game shit where you're, like, making Subway sandwiches that are coming in from online orders. You find out later, like, after you win Employee of the Month that you've been controlling, like, a sandwich-making robot somewhere in Indianapolis the whole time. More Sopapillas urgently. I don't know. I saved it. Somehow I saved it. Just give me... What do we need most of? Give, just give me some churros right now. I see that we need one. Whatever. Send it. Send them. Send them the frick out there. Send them the frick out there. Send them the frick out there. Okay, sopapillas are going to be coming hot off the grill in a second here. And we need some more sopapillas. I think we need even more sopapillas. They love the sopapillas, dude. What, what is a sopapilla? It's like a dessert samosa. I can't believe we held it together today. What have I done? We didn't have enough sopapillas to go around. Whoops, sorry, but I almost, I, I think I almost lit you on fire. I don't know what I did. I think I served, I think I served you some raw food. That's all right. I'm willing to accept that. The motherfuckers coming in two minutes before close ordering like a hundred sopapillas. Like, have some respect. Hey, uh, you guys closed? It's 15 minutes after close. Are you guys closed? I guess we could handle you as long as you order fast. Cool, table for 12. Listen. Did I just invent that situation in my head? Yes. Has it happened before in history? Probably. I will say, restaurant, and I know a lot of restaurants do this now. Because someone in chat asked, what if you go to a restaurant, it's 10.30, and it closes at 11? How long should you be able to stay? Well, I think you should tr endeavor to be out by closing time. But I do think restaurants need to put themselves in the patron's shoes a little bit. On the sign, there should be like, or, or even when you sit down, I think closing should be when the restaurant basically kicks you out. But then there should also be a sign that is like, we stop sitting at half an hour before close. The kitchen closes half an hour before close. So that would, because sometimes there's restaurants that like, I mean, if you go into a subway 10 minutes before close, you can order a sandwich. But if you go into like a kitchen theme, like a restaurant that actually cooks food, 15 minutes before close, there is a chance that they're going to be like, we can't help you. So there almost needs to, I, I know that it's implied, but I think we need to state it like religiously. We need to state it emphatically. Subway has an oven? Yeah, like a, well, okay, I guess they have to cook the bread. They have a toaster oven. Jib, you're a zoomer. You think you can handle this game? Or is there not enough um, young lean in it for you? Makes me sick. Where are you taking this walk, hypothetically? Wherever it may roam, okay? Where I lay my head is home. Sauce and truffle butter? Who's getting filet mignon out of a food truck? Are you crazy? Okay, we need to, we need to get this out here. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Get, get, get wrecked. Get wrecked, idiot. I'm insane. I'm the best to ever do it. I am, so proud. am I having to look at my keyboard to see what the keys are? Yes. Send it. Sauce and truffle butter. Get ready. They, they all have different cook times. Now, who's ordering a well done filet mignon from a food truck? Do you hate flavor? I mean, you know what? The customer's always right. I got to remember that. The customer's always right. Hi, I'll take my cold, well done filet, please. Oh, that'll be a hundred dollars. Keep the change. Oh, give me some fried fish real quick. Give me the other one. Tandoori chicken. That's the other one. Send it. What happened? Send it. Wait, we didn't ruin our perfect combo. We're okay. People were getting a little upset. I can't imagine why. Look at that. Minimal food waste. At least they got some company while they're waiting here. You got one more stop? What the hell? It never ends, man! Double up on the tandoori today. You want a rare filet mignon. 
That, that's going to be ready in a heartbeat. Oh, <laughs> sauce, foie gras. Oil, filet mignon. Oil, bacon mignon. Let me get some dongo. This is nuts. Sauce, foie gras. Foie gras from a food truck. Now, now I've heard of everything. Oil, filet mignon. We gotta get some stuff going here. We gotta get some chicken strips out there. We gotta get some fish out there. Send them! Okay, this is rough. That's gonna be a U-E-C-I. That's gonna be an H-E-I. That's gonna be a U-C-I. Send them. We're gonna need some more of something. I don't know what it is yet. You're gonna need a sauce and a truffle butter. You need some of that? We need some more fried fish. Stat. Stat, we need some strips. We need some more dongo. We're gonna need some more dongo too. We're gonna need some more tandoori chicken. I'm on another level right now. Okay, we need some strips. I think I did that one wrong, but no, no, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna need even more strips. And I think we're gonna need one more like tandoori chicken. I think they want some tandoori chicken. I'll make a special order just for you, just cause it's the boss fight, okay? And everything's okay. I think we just did it. No sweat. Send them at 181. Perfect, delicious combo. Well, well, well. It's simple. It's just parallel processing, mental bandwidth, non-linear thinking. Just no big deal. 103 ecstatic customers. I've been watching for 15 minutes. I don't know what's happening. You know, I mean, that's the thing is, it's like watching Gandalf. Like when Gandalf's at work, he's literally just like, oh, another eight hours casting spells. But to the hobbits, to the, to the varnished mind, it looks like witchcraft. It looks like magic. It looks, it looks like they couldn't do it. And honestly, they might be right. Are you a robot? No, I'm just really good at uh, narrating what I'm doing. I think. Maybe? I don't know. Like, I think you think that I'm narrating in order to tell you a story, but in actuality, I'm narrating to, so my brain hears what I want it to do and then goes, oh, I'm going to do that. And it can like store it in my head as a reference. I mean, I'm 2 p.m. I mean, <laughs> I'm me and it's 2 p.m. My brain is taking some time off. Especially considering what I just did in, in, in Cook Serve Delicious. I'm just leaning back. You think scroll lock will ever make a resurgence? I'm going to be real with you. I don't even know what scroll lock does. I could not tell you. There's a lot of keys on the keyboard. I don't really know what they do. I also don't know what pause does. The pause button right, right next to scroll lock. It pauses, it pauses your stream. No, it doesn't. It's a pause break. What does that mean? I don't really know home uh, or end. I think home takes you to the start of a document. End takes you to the end. Insert makes it so um, you accidentally type over when you're typing in, a, in Microsoft Word instead of actually just adding new letters. I remember that. Insert key. Very annoying. Very annoying and true. I mean, like, if we're talking about those six buttons, it's like delete gets 99% of the attention, and then it's like page up and page down, and then insert home and end, never. It's, that's an always, sometimes, never for sure. And then print screen, on occasion, scroll, lock, and pause, literally, I don't know if I've ever pressed them on purpose in my entire life. I could not tell you. You don't use home or end? No, I do not use Homer End. Want to close it out here. Sorry, that's Twitch Rivals Minecraft. 
My wife was playing Bayonetta 3. I didn't even know that was out, man. She's playing Bayonetta 3, twitch.tv slash lovely Momo. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. Changing your gears. Have you had enough of do diddle 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 di